back doing free code camp JavaScript algos and data structures. We are in the basic JavaScript course on challenge 103 of 113. So today we are going to replace loops with recursion. So personally, I don't think this is the best use of recursion, this example here. Um, it's more conceptual to try and get you to understand what recursion is, but yeah. It, with this example, it can be kind of confusing. With all examples, if you've never been introduced to the concept, recursion is confusing. Um, but essentially, to break this down, I can definitely read all of this. Definitely, if this is the first time that you're being introduced to recursion, watch a couple YouTube videos on just recursion explained and try and get the concept down. But recursion is essentially when a function calls itself from within itself. So we have the function, oh, let's look at this example. We have multiply here. Within multiply, oh, this example. Within multiply, we call multiply. As you can see, we're changing some of the arguments, but the key is we're, we're declaring the function, and within the logic of the function, we're calling the same function. Um, and even, you know, FreeCodeCamp says recursion is a concept that a function can be expressed in terms of itself. That literally just means recursion is when a function calls itself within itself. Um, confusing concept, kind of doesn't make sense when you're first introduced to it, but the more you kind of like see examples, and I think there's a lot of great YouTube videos that definitely break it down a lot better than I'll be able to in this video. I'm just going to help you get through this challenge and hopefully understand a little bit of what is happening. Uh, but recursion as a whole concept, definitely check out some other videos because there's definitely a lot, a lot better ones out there than this. But yeah, so definitely read this if you're going through it. Um, if you're going through free code camp, definitely try this on your own. But if you're stuck and you're at this video, I'm here to help. So. What we're going to do is create a function, a recursive function, that returns the sum of the first n elements in the array. Array. So as you can see here, we have a function sum. It takes in an array. It takes in a number n. And like in this example, um, n n is one here. So all we're going to do is add the first element, which is two, and return two. And this one n is 3. We're going to take the first three elements, 2, 3, 4, and we're going to sum them. 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 4 is 9, and return 9. This is kind of a bad example. The confusing. This will kind of confuse you to look at that one, but um, these two kind of make sense when you look at them. It said should not rely on loops for each map, filter, or reduce, and we should use recursion to solve this problem. So this is kind of what they're doing here, except they're multiplying with recursion. So looking at this logic, we can kind of see what's happening. Basically, we're taking, in, we have the function multiply, we're taking the array in n, and if n is greater than or equal to zero, or, or I'm sorry, if n is less than or equal to zero, then we return one. Otherwise, we return the same function with a new n, so n minus one, times array at n minus one. So that's basically what we're gonna do here. So we're going to keep calling the same sum function within itself and adding, uh, adding instead of multiplying here, adding array at n minus one to it. Because as, as you can see, if we get three here, we don't wanna grab the third index because the third index, so if we count zero, one, two, three, we'll grab the five. We wanna grab whatever n is minus one and then the one before it, and then the one before it until n is less than or equal to zero. And then we can exit the loop and return the sum. Um, good thing to remember when we're doing recursion is that, I've said this before, a function is equal to whatever it returns. So whatever this returns, this line here, or it's, it say this was to return five. This is equal to saying return five times whatever this value is. So even if this multiply function when we recurse, if it enters, recurses, this is not true, and recurses again with a one less value than the one before it, it's still going to return 
the sum, well, in this case, the product of everything that recurses within it, if that makes any sense. Um, so a function, even if it returns, uh, it's a recursive, what recurs like this, like it recurses, it's equal to whatever it returns. So in, if they said else let variable equal this line, variable would be equal to whatever this returns times this, right? Because that's a function is equal to what it returns. So I hope that wasn't more confusing, but that's kind of a key to understand here with recursion. We're kind of just getting whatever this returns and then multiplying it by that. And if we're within this recurse and it recurses again, then it's going to keep doing that until it stops recursing. And the returns, return of all those basically get added or multiplied in this case and then multiplied by that. Right. So again, don't know if that made sense. Don't know if that confused you more, but definitely go check out some other videos that break down recursion as a concept if that was confusing. But we're basically going to use this same logic. Uh, instead of multiplying, we're adding. So we can simply say if n less than or equal to zero, then we want to return zero else this is where we'll recurse. We want to return if I can spell return sum gives the same array and then n minus one. And if it if this return statement re enters it you know the function again with a new n and needs to recurse again, it'll keep doing that until the n is until n is less than or equal to zero. That was supposed to be equal to. Uh, equal to zero, then it will return zero, and then that zero will go all the way up back to this original recurse statement, uh, recursive statement. So then we're going to say plus array n minus one. So we're adding whatever is at n minus one. So if it's if n is three, we want to take the first three values. We'll do n minus one. So we'll grab the four, the third uh, index, and then we'll add it to whatever is within, whatever is returned from sum with n minus one. So then it'll enter, n will be two, well, n, n minus one, so it'll be two. Uh, that will not be true. It'll recurse again. It'll already have the four added at the top, at this, at the first recurse layer, and then it'll go down plus the three, recurse again, plus the two. So then it'll essentially just say return sum. This is, will basically just say return to four plus three, right? Four plus three plus two. And then n will be zero plus zero. Hope that made sense. Kind of hard to visualize this uh, if, if the concept isn't really making sense. Um, Let's see if we can clarify this a little bit. Council log returning So if we look here, it's returning, well, adding four and then three and then two. This first two is from this example, um, but these last three are from this example I've been referencing this whole time. So we, you can see it's returning plus four plus whatever the product or whatever the, sum, the return is of this is, which is three, and then plus two. So I hope that made sense. Hope that clarified it a little bit. Again, please watch some other videos if it didn't. Uh, and I hope to see you guys in the next challenge.